We had reported last month that a joint working group of DRDO and British firm Rolls-Royce have started feasibility study for the co-development of a 116 kN jet engine, and new reports indicate that the study is progressing well and will be over in the next 10 months. That will also determine the critical areas of technology transfer and full transfer of intellectual property rights to India, after which the Government of India and UK will sign a formal contract for the co-development of the engine. The 116 kN engine with stealth properties will first find its way into the AMCA Mark II fighter jets, and will later replace the American F-414 engines on the medium-weight fighter and twin-engine deck-based fighter. The frontline troops of Indian Army will receive the first batch of 6,000 Israeli Negev light machine guns next week, as they have completed their acceptance trials in India, while the remaining batch of 10,000 units will be delivered by Israel by September. The Indian Army is separately looking at a larger order for 41,000 light machine guns, which will be procured through the Make in India model. Hindustan Aeronautics has said that the company is working with the DRDO and Aeronautical Development Agency to achieve more than 70% indigenous content for the medium-weight fighter, which had already started metal cutting of pre-production aircraft last month. Officials have said that the production variant of the medium-weight fighter will get indigenously built radome, indigenous infrared research and track system by Bharat Electronics Limited, line replaceable units from local vendors, the RDO developed a ESA radar with 992 transmit receive modules, and with the integration of indigenous 110 kN thrust class engine in mid-2030, the level of indigenization will increase to 80%. Bharat Dynamics has received an order worth 373 crore rupees for supplying rear sections for the Indo-Israeli developed medium-range surface-to-air missiles for the Indian Air Force, and the order will be completed in batches before 30th of November 2023. The Indian Army had also ordered five regiments of MR SAM, which consists of about 40 launchers and 200 missiles for $2.4 billion, and it is expected to be deployed by the end of 2022. 125 personnel 6 Su-30 fighter jets and 2 C-17 aircraft of the Indian Air Force will take off for United Arab Emirates tomorrow, to participate in the Desert Flag multinational exercise that will be held in United Arab Emirates over the next three weeks. Ten countries including the US, France, South Korea and Saudi Arabia are taking part in this high-profile exercise, and this will be the first time for the Indian Air Force to take part in a multilateral exercise in the crucial Gulf region. The Indian Navy will be commissioning its third Scorpion-class submarine INS Karanj on 10 March. The sea trials of the 4th and 5th submarine is currently underway, while the construction of the 6th submarine is at the stage of outfitting. The P-75 project is running four years behind schedule, mainly due to the slow finalization of contracts for procurement of sensors and propulsion system components by Mazagin Dock Limited and French firm Naval Group. Latest satellite images of Agaliga Island of Mauritius shows rapid construction activity by India, and port development projects and 3,000 meters airfield extension project to host Indian Navy's P-8 INT submarine aircraft are well underway. The island will also provide a location for communications and electronic intelligence facilities, and will facilitate India's power projection in the southwest Indian Ocean. The meeting of the Group of Ministers on Corporatization of the Ordnance Factory Board has been called today, for discussing the way forward on reforming the organization, and this comes at a time when the Ministry of Defense and Army officials have called for speeding up the corporatization process. In a 360-degree policy turn from a month ago, Sri Lanka has now said, it will develop the West Container Terminal of the Colombo Port along with India and Japan in a public-private partnership model.
India and Japan will be accorded 85% stake, which is similar to the Colombo International Container Terminal, where China also holds 85% stake.